Hey everyone, I'm Miss Marty. I'm a sixth grade science teacher and I'm gonna walk you through the rock cycle with airheads. So I have a blue, a green, and a red airhead with me. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to start breaking them apart into smaller pieces. So I'm breaking them apart. Okay, so now I have all of these airheads broken up into smaller pieces. So what do you think these airheads represent in this lab? I broke them up and now they're smaller pieces and now I'm going to move them around. I'm moving and dropping them around, moving and dropping. So if you kind of already figured out these airhead pieces are representing our minerals, our sediments, our broken apart pieces of rock. And the moving is what? When I move the sediment around, it's called what? You're right, it's called erosion. And then when I drop them in a new location, that process is called deposition y'all are so smart so now we have all of these sediments moved and dropped and so now what we're gonna do is I am going to press them and squeeze them all together so I'm putting them in my hand and I'm compacting them and cementing them together I'm compacting and cementing all the sediments together. And so now that I've done that, I have created a new rock. What rock is this? When sediments are compacted and cemented together, what type of rock did we just create? You're right, it's sedimentary. <laughs> So now we have this sedimentary rock. So this sedimentary rock is called a conglomerate, which looks a little bit like the airhead uh, rock that we just created. It's just a bunch of sediments and minerals pressed and squeezed together. Now we have the sedimentary rock. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it, fold my foil over, and now I'm going to apply heat, get some friction with my hands, get some heat and press down. Ooh. I got some more heat and pressure. Heat and pressure. Because I used heat and pressure, what rock did we just create? So if a sedimentary rock goes through heat and pressure, what can it turn into? Y'all are so smart. It turns into a metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock is formed through heat and pressure. So as you can see, it looks a lot flattened. Looks a lot different, kind of looks like the world. So an example of a real metamorphic rock is slate. Do you see how flat it is? This rock has gone through extreme heat and pressure. So now for the fun part, we get to use fire. Science is lit. Stop it, get some help. <laughs> I don't even think that's a cool word anymore. So now I made a little boat for my metamorphic rock. And now I'm going to use these handy dandy tongs and I'm gonna hold the rock over the flame. I don't know if you can see it, but our rock is starting to melt. What do you think it's melting into?
Now, because the material is still in liquid form, this is still representing magma or lava. This is not considered a rock yet. So I'm going to leave this to sit and to cool and to harden, and we're gonna see what rock it turns into. So now we see the liquid or the magma has cooled and hardened and turned into a rock. So we see this looks pretty glassy. So what type of rock forms when magma or lava cools and hardens? It's an igneous rock. So just like the igneous rock we just created, um, this is a real igneous rock. This is called obsidian. Yes, from Minecraft. And it has this glassy look to it because obsidian is formed when lava cools and hardens. And lava cools faster than magma, which gives it this glassy look. Just to recap, rocks are continuously changing through the rock cycle. There's no certain order and it never ends. So if a rock goes through extreme heat and pressure, it, I think I just melted part of my nail. Bruh. Anyways, if any type of rock goes through extreme heat and pressure, it can turn into a metamorphic rock. If any type of rock goes through extreme heating and it melts back into magma, then it can cool and harden into an igneous rock and any rock can be weathered um, and broken into little pieces into sediments and those sediments can be compacted and cemented together. So this cycle never ends, it keeps going, our rocks are continuously changed and any rock can change into igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic. So I hope this helped you understand the rock cycle by using some yummy airhead. Thank you for watching this far, you're the real MVP. Um, I'm going to see who really watched this video. When we join Zoom, I want you to type pineapple in the chat. Why? Just because. I want to see if you watched it. So type pineapple in the chat so I know if you're actually doing the mini lesson. <laughs> All right. Can't wait to see you guys on Zoom. I hope this helped. I hope this gave you a better understanding of the rock cycle and the three different types of rocks. I'll see you around. Goodbye, my favorite scientist.